What's up, Ocean? You got Matt here, coach of your Montreal Mylotic, bringing you our week four battle for the NCP. We are currently sitting at 3-0 with a plus 13 differential. We are absolutely killing it. First place in the league. And uh, there are a few teams that are 3-0, but I believe their differentials are like plus 8 or something. And we're sitting at a monstrous plus 13. But we are playing against Dark Devil 26, Brendan, coach of the Vegas Golden Corviknights. Some we've played before in the past quite a bit. Uh, we had a hell of a semifinals game, or I believe it was quarterfinals game against them in the IBL in like season four, which is like two years ago now. Um, it's one of the most viewed videos on the channel. It's a hell of a game, honestly. We had a terrible matchup, and we ended up coming out on top of that. It was a game down to the wire. It was incredible. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you go and check it out. I'll leave a playlist for the IBL down in the description because that season was incredible. We made it all the way to the finals, and uh, I won't spoil what happened from there. But anyways... This is the NCP, 3-0, he is 2-1, he's got a very scary team, probably the toughest team we have to face off against so far because he has a couple mods that really, really make our team struggle, and honestly, without Crawdont, I think our team would just auto-lose this matchup, and that's saying something because he's got an Appleton and a Lapras, both of which are pretty good to kind of wall or stop Crawdont, at least a bit. Um, but anyways, let's just go ahead and jump into this. So looking at his team, you guys see right here, he has the Excadrill, Hippowdon, Halucha, Male Indeedy, Appleton, Morpico, Lapras, Weezing, Flareon, and Morgrim. I made a bit of a mistake last time around. Um, I actually had um, Weezing on the Ball State Ball Guys team. They had Galarian Weezing, so it was my mistake. Well, it, it's okay because our set for the Como that we brought last time is going to put in a lot of work this time around. So Let's uh, see what we can do here. Our team, you guys can see it here as well. Coma, Oakle, Fable, Crawdon, Thigavold, Piloswine, Deblade, Roselia, Zatu, Rapidash, and Snorlax. Now, I do want to give a huge thank you to Brendan. He was able to find me someone to gen my team um, right before our game. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do it by my normal means, but uh, shout out to him for helping me get through it. I really appreciate it, man. Anyways, looking at this team, um, I have a second slide here. So this slide just shows the whole teams. The next slide I have has all the mods I believe he is going to be bringing. Um, the biggest threat for us, 100% defensively, like if he wants to, if just to stop us, is the Weezing. Weezing is a big problem for us because of our Clefable. Um, it can take a hit from our Crawdon pretty well. It resists our, our Como's fighting attacks. It's just a pretty strong mod overall. We only have one type that is super effective against it, uh, super effective against it and that is our Zatu. Um, hopefully Zatu can put in the work because I am bringing it this week, but uh, it's, it's a Zatu. What's it going to do really? Yeah, he's also got an extra drill and a Halucha, which are both very scary, so we gotta be very careful around, the, around that. So, the mods I think he's gonna be bringing, these are the six. Um, the Excadrill, Hippowdon, I believe are 100% coming. Excadrill with Moldbreaker or with um, Sandrush is very strong against me. If he wants to run Moldbreaker with Swords Dance, then he will be able to bypass my Unaware on Clefable and just obliterate me. Um, the Hippowdon really helps the Excadrill, I guess, um, sweep late game if it's Sand Rush. It lets it gain support with the Sand. It sets up rocks for his team. It's a really good defensive check to physical Como, to, um, well, to my electric types, obviously, in my my Vicavolt. It can take a hit pretty well from the Deblade and the Mammoth, and the Pile Swine, excuse me, and also it can Warwind out a potential Curse Lack, so it's very scary there. Um, the Halucha, very scary. Its dual stab is, abs is absolutely incredible against me, um, basically making it so Snorlax can't really come because... It's just, it gets a U-turn. If it didn't get U-turn, I feel a lot better about running Snorlax and also having double aid on my team. But the fact that I can just click close combat now instead of high jump kick makes it a lot scarier. So I have to be very careful around that thing. Indeedy is there because it's pretty fast, base 95 speed. It can set up um, with Calm Minds if it needs to. It gets pretty decent coverage, Psychic, Psy, Shock. I believe it's normal coverage in Hyper Voice, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Dazzling Gleam, uh, Mystical Fire if it wants to, and Shadow Ball. I believe Shadow Ball is a must bring for him. Um, then there's the Lapras. Lapras is really solid because it gets water absorb. It is it stops the biggest threat on my team to him, which is the Crawdons. Uh, I still have knockoff for that, but it's it's Lapras. It's pretty damn bulky. I don't think we'll be able to get a KO on it with two knockoffs at neutral. Um, so we've got to be very careful on that. I could see him bring the Appleton in Lapras's place, but uh, La but the Appleton does, does not do as much, I believe, for the rest of his team. Lapras at least has Ice Shard or uh, Freeze Dry for my Como o and for my, my Crawdons, and at least, at least has also something for... Um, Michael Fable and something like maybe Parish Song set that. Uh, shout out to um, to Trap Peach for for bringing that. That was that was a hell of a set that he brought in our mock. Uh, but anyways, the final mod I think he's gonna be bringing is the Weezing. Weezing is a must bring. I think it's neutralizing gas, which makes it so that my magic bounce on Zatu no longer works. It makes it so my um, so Fable's unaware or magic guard is unaffected, which is really bad. He could also use it. it also, I believe he's on the field. While my Como is on the field, if I was wearing overcoat, um, I would still be infected by the sand, which sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, I don't see uh, Morgrim or Flareon coming at all. More Pico, maybe, but 
He's got a pretty solid 7, I think, that are really good against me. Um, and he can choose between Lapras and Appleton. He can get a really good 6th mod out of that. But anyways, let's just go ahead and jump into the team that we're bringing for this battle. So, starting off our team, we have our Crawdon here. Crawdon is the biggest threat to our opponent. It is really strong this week. You guys see the set over here. Um, ignore the 288 speed. It should be 228. That's my bad. Um, basically, this set, it's kind of our win con this week. Uh, even though setting up a Dragon Dance really isn't the most important thing in the world. We do have speed for a Jolly Excadrill outside of Sand while we have a plus one boost in speed. Our plus one liquidation into Knockoff will always KO an Appleton, no matter what. Um, even if he, well, if he has life leftovers, maybe not, but I don't think he's going leftovers. Anyways, um, what else is there? A, a neutral Life Orb Aqua Jet will also always Oko the, uh, an, an extra drill that has no bulk at all. Um, I could see him definitely bring some bulk, but if he gets, I don't know, a little bit chipped down from Life Orb, then Aqua Jet is taking the job, is doing the job for us, which is gonna be fantastic. It lets us know that he's not Pasho Berry, so that's good to know as well. Knockoff is there for the Lapras, for the Appleton, but Liquidation and Aqua Jet hit everything else for incredible damage. The rest of the EVs that were left over from the 228 and the 252 are going with my HP, just as a little bit of extra bulk. Um, not really needed for anything specific but it's just there just in case our next mod is our vicavolt this thing um this mod i mean i brought this last week and it swept uh, agility bug buzz thunderbolt and i believe i had energy ball in that set uh, but this time i'm running mudshot mudshot is there for the uh, extra drill alone it has a small chance to oko from full if he's got no bulk um if i can get a hit of life orb before i get set up with this thing that's amazing if i can just even set up an agility and bring it down, or if I get lucky and get the roll, then I'll be in a really good spot because getting rid of the extra would be absolutely phenomenal. Um, it outspeeds a Hall Lucha creeping or anything creeping the Rapidash um, because, uh, yeah, that's what it is. If he's creeping the Rapidash with anything, then I will outspeed it, which is very important uh, because Rapidash is my fastest mon and he's obviously got a Pokemon that is pretty fast in Hall Lucha at 118 speed, so we want to make sure we can speed that, outspeed that. Uh, the HP and defense so that we're never O-Code by a Adamant Life Orb Rock Slide from Excadrill or an Earthquake if he ends up being Mold Breaker. Um, but yeah, this set put in tons of work last week and at least six kills, so hopefully we can do some more work, work some more work with it this week. Yeah, um, fingers crossed, you know, fingers crossed. I'm playing this before our battle goes up for week uh, for week three, so be so hopefully um, Brendan hasn't seen what happened, doesn't know that we ran agility on this thing, but. Uh, I imagine he has since that we have, so we have to show what our stats were, and Vickable got six kills last week. Yeah. Anyways, our next mod is going to be another familiar face. We brought the similar, well, very similar Vickable. We're bringing the exact same Como set in terms of attacks and abilities. Oh, and not abilities, and items. Um, Clang skill, Aura Sphere, Taunt, and Atotomize. Why this set? It's really good. Um, you look at his team, what resists the combination of dragon and fighting? Nothing. Uh, it, it's absolutely completely demolished by this. Well, actually, Morgum doesn't resist, but it's immune to my fighting my fighting move. My sorry, my dragon move, and it resists or is neutral to Aura Sphere, but it'll Oko us with Dazzling Gleam. Um, but looking at this team, Exedril doesn't want to take an Aura Sphere. Hit Poudon. It won't want to take two Clanging Scales, even though I'm losing my defense. It can hit me with Earthquake or go for a Whirlwind. I can taunt it if I absolutely feel like it's important to, so why not? Uh, Halucha, yes, it's going to outspeed me if he has Terrain or if he Scarf, but still, it's not taking this hit. Indeedy, not really. My goal is to make sure that I bring this in on a potential Scarf Indeedy or Specs Indeedy while it's locked into Shadow Ball, and that I can set it because I am running Bulletproof. Um, Appleton, fight, uh, Dragon move, more Pico, fighting move, Lapras, fighting move, and it's not going to kill me with, the, with Ice Beam or Freeze Dry. Weezing, Dragon move, uh, he's got to be very, very healthy on the Weezing to take the hits. Flareon, not coming. Morgrem, don't not coming. So we should be good here. Um, this set is, uh, what else does it have? It has speed for, it has speed, so at plus two, we outspeeded Scarf Lucha, creep, creeping our Rapid Dash, so again, very important there. Um, we have HP and defense for, or sorry, it has speed for a Scarf Halucha. That's what I want to say, a Scarf Halucha, creeping our Rapid Dash. Um, we have HP and defense so that an adamant Lucha's acrobatics will never KO us without its item. So if we're at full, we can just click Clanging Scales, and that way we don't have to worry about acrobatics. Braybird, if he's jolly, we'll take the hit, but if he's adamant, I doubt it, but he should probably be adamant. Um, looking at this, Throat Spray also boosts our special attack and lets me sweep. Taunt is there to stop um, the Whirlwinds, the Stealth Rocks, the Toxic Spikes from the Weezing. This is going to be my lead, actually, uh, because I in neutralizing gas, Weezing was very scary against me, so I don't want to let that thing be a problem. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, if he leaves off with a, well, what is it called, a um, Halucha with Braver, that's going to be the worst case scenario for me, so we got to be careful about that. Um, but yeah, it's a very strong amount. Hopefully, Autotomize can put in the work for us. Uh, definitely got to keep this thing healthy and hopefully we can sweep with it because Throat Spray is going to be fantastic. 
Our next mon is going to be the aforementioned Zatu. Zatu is really solid here, running Magic Balance, of course. We have speed for Exodrill creeping our Como, um, because I need to have the rest of my EVs and HP and defense. They were very important. They make it so we never die to an adamant Exodrill Rock Slide. That's if he's running Pasho Berry, so that's important. And we're also never too KO'd by a Hippowdon with zero EVs and attack. I believe also if he's max attack with no adamant nature, we should be able to live the head of, well, live two of those as well. Uh, we have the Charty Berry. Those calcs are without the Charty Berry, so that's just in case the Charty Berry is just a backup as a, a absolute worst case scenario. Um, and because we have Magic Balance, it lets us set up on Hippo for free. Psychic Heat Wave hits his team for incredible damage. Roost is phenomenal for recovery. Calm Mind is amazing. And one thing I learned in our mock, we actually have enough HP. It's just a coincidence. We have enough, enough HP to make it so that if we get to plus one with Calm Mind as he switches in an DD and he goes for two Shadow Balls, he will literally never KO us if we go for a second Calm Mind. So that's important because we can just roost off the damage if we need to, which is pretty damn good. So if we're at full, we click Calm Mind, we're at plus one, he brings in his Ndidi, he clicks Shadow Ball, he'll do at most, I think like 51% to us, or 53% to us. I can Calm Mind up, and then I'll always live the next hit, I can just roost and roost and roost and roost and roost, and then eventually, I click Calm Mind again, a few more times, and then it's game over. Zatu is probably the best setup mod we have this game, I'm hoping you do tons of work for us, even though the first four of our mods have setup. Our next mod, number five, is going to be Clefable here. This thing is absolutely incredible. I believe it's tied now with Vickable for the um, kill leader. I believe they both have seven kills. Um, but this set is pretty solid. It's got Moonblast, Moonlight for recovery, Flamethrower, and Toxic. Toxic is there for the incoming uh, Hippowdon. It's there for... What else was there for? Uh, um, Lapras, I think, was the other one. Lapras was the big one because Lapras could be kind of scary. Uh, Indeedee as well, just in case if he's running a Calm Mind set, then we really want to get the Toxic off. Flamethrower is there for the Excadrill. We have enough defense and bulk, so we're not too killed by a Jolly Drills Earthquake. That's if he's not Life Orb. Uh, and an Adamant, sorry, not too killed, yeah, if he's not Life Orb. And an Adamant Lucha's Brave Bird. We have a Berry Berry to take the Iron Headless incoming. If he's Mold Breaker, then this really helps us, especially if he gets the plus two. And um, we always have Flamethrower there, which can always too kill a no bulk Excadrill. And we have speed there just to creep Weezing, creeping us. Um, yeah, thought it'd be a safe bet to put the 20 EVs there. I didn't really need them for anything else, so why not? And our final mod is going to be our Dublade here, making its season deb debut. Wow, can't speak today. Um, it is very offensive, but it's also very defensive at the same time. Close Combat, Iron Head, Shadow Sneak, and Toxic are very good moves this week. Toxic is there for the switch in on the Hippowdon. Um, it has attack to Oko, a no HP exit drill with Close Combat all the time, which is very important. So if he takes a hit of, li of Life Orb and we can close combat back, we should be fine. We have bulk to never be too killed by a Weezing's Flamethrower, and we are also not O-Code by a Bandit Earthquake from Drill or a Modest Specs Shadow Ball from Indeedee. So it's very important there. Uh, I would really need this thing around to take hits, um, to dish out damage. It really sucks that terrain is going to be a thing. We're not going to be able to use our Shadow Sneak or our Aqua Jet, but it is what it is. Brendan is calling me. we got to get started with the battle. So thank you guys for watching the Team Builder, and I'll be right back with the battle. All right, welcome back, everyone. Uh, he brought the Morgrim, which I did not expect. Uh, there's no Hippo, which is cool, but I don't know. Uh, the good news is I'm pretty sure my Zatu should be fine, in theory, should be fine against the... Uh, it should be fine against the Morgrim. Um, I want to lead off with my with my, my Crawdont, but I said I want to lead off with Como. I'm going to lead off with Como here. We'll see what he wants to do. I would love to have Psychic on my Clefable, but I just can't. So yeah, um, I'm going to finish up this because you guys see there's only four mods on the screen. I have to add them from my my list of mods. Uh, Morgrem was one of them I have to add. Okay. There's one. You guys are seeing some live, oops, live editing here, which I did not expect to have to do. And Life to Stall out of Lapras. Arthritis, is that the Weezing? That is the Weezing, so I might place the Taunt here, 100%. I'm not letting this thing get up Stealth Rocks. Did it real? Yep, Neutralizing Gas. All right. Um, and there was Lapras. That was the last Mon. I'm going to wait just a second to click the Taunt because I don't want to miss what he does. Okay. And that is downloaded. That is uploaded there. Okay. So again, let me know what you guys think about the... Uh, the graphics, second time using them, so we'll see, we'll see. Okay, okay, so I'm clicking Taunt here, that is my play. Taunt comes out, I imagine he goes for the um, Toxic Spikes. Dope. That's nice, that's nice. Can't go for Toxic Spikes, very nice. Uh, and at this point, I think I'm going to go hard into the... Because this thing is 
With bulletproof, I'm pre with bulletproof, I'm pretty sure it's immune to sludge bomb. So I'm gonna go into the double aid as I expect him to go for the uh, or switch into the Morgrim here, and I can go for an Iron Head for free. Ah, for me, it wasn't the best bet. Sludge bomb. Um, hmm. I can go for Iron Head to kind of figure out what he wants to do. Let's see. This is tough. Because he's gonna be able to. Okay, I'm gonna go back into Como here. I don't think he goes. Oh, man. I'm just. I'm moving around too much right now. I don't know what to. What to exactly do right now, which sucks. This Weezing is such a pain to play around. Uh, see flamethrowers. So we're getting a bit of information about the moveset. As he does nothing to me. No burn. He shakes off the taunt. And I'm going to go for another taunt here. Um, so we use a real flamethrower. Sludge bomb. And toxic spikes. As he goes for sludge bomb. Oh, I thought it was bulletproof. And he poisons me. Fantastic. Okay, damage calc. Why did I think Sludge Bomb was unaffected by bulletproof? Okay. Um, I'm going to fire off a clanging skills here. That's solid damage. Throat Spray activates. I think he's gonna KO us here though, with his Light Bomb. He does not, which is nice. As he's Black Sludge. Um, I anticipate him to go Morgrim. So I'm just gonna fire off an Aura Sphere here. He's still under the Taunt, so this should be fine. And we should be able to do enough damage to him with our with our crawdons to be able to get the KO on it uh, with knockoff. It switches out. Does he go Morgrim? That's what I was expecting him to do. Kurt, that's the Morgrim. Yeah. So we got this prediction right, which is nice. This is a plus one or sphere coming out. Yum. That's nice. I will take that. I will take that 100 percent Uh, what does Morgrim get in terms of special moves? Or dark moves, excuse me. Uh, dark Pulse, no knockoff. Gets Taunt. Sucker Punch. Don't think Morgrim can do enough to my Zatu. Right? Oh my god. Gotta move faster. Uh, Morgrim. I think I'm gonna go to Zatu here. Okay. He goes for like a dark pulse on me. Whoa, why did that do so much more damage than I expected it to do? Um, I'm going to calm mind up here. This thing was definitely here to take advantage of my, my Como and stop that from just clicking a dragon move, which is fair. The dragon moves kind of ran through him. Especially since the steel type is an Excadrill, which he wants to have relatively healthy to take uh, hits from Life Orb. I feel like I'm really rushed right now. Damn. He switches out. I'm fine with that. That's a free command off for me. What is he going to? Nessie, the Lapras. Okay. Oh, I'm stupid. Neutralizing gas stops my bulletproof. That's my mistake. Okay. Um, so I'm at plus one all around. Let's see how much Nessie wants to do to me. So, Lapras. Let's see. Freeze Dry still does 60 to 72. And if I get to plus 2, 44 to 53. Okay, uh, I'm going to go for a second comment here. If you pair songs, you pair songs, whatever. I can kind of play around that a bit. Let's see, what is he going to do here?
Ice beams. That's gonna do some damage. No, it's not. No, it's not. Let's go for another roost here. We're at plus two all around. How much do you do to me? I'm at... 77. So 149 minus 77 is 72 points of health. So Ice Beam from Lapras doing 77 points of health at plus 2. He could be... He could be max special attack like Timinator or something. Right? Does that make sense? Uh, no, he can't. I'm gonna go for another Calm Mind here. Get to plus 3. As I do. Another Ice Beam. He's going for a flint, uh, a freeze, or no, I press call mine again. Fuck. One press roost. Shit. Shit. Please live. Please live. Please live. Please live. I think I died. Oh my god, I think I fucked up. Oh my god, did I fuck up? <sighs> fuck. I misclicked and I fucked up. That's so big. That's so big. Fuck, man. <sighs> oh my god, that's absolutely huge. Are you Damn it. I, I, can't, I can't believe that happened. I can't believe that happened. I was gonna get so much chip damage off on his team. I could've just swept- Oh my god. That's huge. I, I, I don't wanna say that makes up for the crit that I got last week, but like... Jesus. How much does Ice Beam do to me? I can't believe that happened. <sighs> I'm gonna T-Bolt. <sighs> that freaking sucks. He switches out. Zizrar, what is that? That's the drill. He's running Mold Breaker. I'm so upset. I'm so upset about that. Oh my god. I can't believe I did that. He can freely click Earthquake here. Um, I come up on a bit of information about it. I'm going to go into Clefable. If the Earthquake's cool, if he's not. That's so. Oh my god. What does he do? Does he Swords Dance? He Earthquakes. How much is it gonna do? 201 down to 88. Uh, life Orb. Okay. That's good information to know. Uh, do I just sack off my Clef here? This, is Clef important for anything else? He's got the Weezing left. Um, what else does he have? Uh, Halucha, and he has Indeedee. Yeah, so I've already, I've already kind of accepted my fate that I've lost this game. Now it's just about getting diffed down because I fucked up. Big time. I big time fucked up. Another earthquake comes out. How much does a neutral mud shot do this thing? Um, Vickabolt, there you are. He has life orb, I know that. If he's adamant, we should live this hit, right? We do. Not enough. Neutral Mudshot does not do enough. That's nuts. Uh, Iron Head. <clears throat> Why Iron Head? Because I'm expecting the Weezing to come in. God damn, I was really rushing. As the Earthquakes will live this hit, we live a bandit hit. <clears throat> so we could have got rid of that thing, which is not, which would have been very nice. That's a crit. I'll sneak. 
And this thing should go down now. It's not gonna sneak, but uh, oh, ooh. Okay, so this thing goes down. He gets two kills. <sighs> Dies to life orb. I kind of wanted this thing alive to be able to set up, but what is he going into now? Doesn't have a ground type left. Does he go Lucha here? I can see him going Lucha. I'm gonna go Vickavolt. <clears throat> He's gotta keep Lapras healthy in the back. Indeed he comes out. How much do I take from an Indeedy that's specs? Or not specs, scarf. I live. You call it living. <laughs> oh man. Uh, if he's got the uh, unburdened berry set, then he's gonna win. Um, my hope has to be he's not scarf. The question is, do I go for a. Because I can lose 5 over here. He's, oh, he's, I was wondering if he's not um, terrain. Oh man, this is a mess. Absolute mess. Okay, if I agility here and he's scarf, he'll outspeed me. And he'll kill me next turn. If he's not Scarf, if he's Specs, I think I die. Choice Specs. Yeah, I'll die to a Psychic. Um, I'm going to Agility here. We'll see. I, I, I kind of have to go bigger, go home as he missed go fires. And I lowers my special attack. Shit. He's Life Orb. So I'm not going to get plus. One, which sucks, because I might not get the, probably don't get the K on the Lapras. And I'll Bug Buzz here. Hmm. Damn, I would have absolutely loved to be able to set up on the Excadrill there. I messed up, I messed up big, and it's gonna cost it's gonna cost me the game here. So we get back to neutral now with our throat spray. So he's gonna go lucha here, he's gonna pop his berry, his berry, his uh unburden, and he'll win the game. Yep. Unburden. Yep, and that's game. Um honestly. I'm really, I'm really, really pissed with myself that I did that. I'm so stupid. Like, I can't believe that. Oh my god, I can't believe I just rushed that. That's upsetting. That's so upsetting. We're going to lose 4-0 here because I made a misclick. Let's go with Zatu. Yeah. Um... Like, I'm not salty, I'm actually just mad at myself right now, because we, we could have easily been 4-0. I had a plus 3, yeah, I had a plus 3, um, freaking, what's it called? Zatu, sitting in front of him, that could easily get back to full whenever I wanted to, and instead, I lose 4-0, because I was stupid. I'm so upset, I'm, I can't believe that happened. Fuck, man. I was rushing way too much. I just felt like I was saying it before, and I just felt way too rushed, and it cost me. I was rushing, and I clicked too fast, and it ended up getting us a 4-0 loss. GG to Brendan. Um, he got us. I believe we would have won had he not had that because we lived literally any hit. If he wanted to go for the the rock slide with his Excadrill, cool. You're not taking a plus three hit from my Zatu. Um, I'm, I actually just want to see that because we're at plus three. Like, we, we, we hit everything. Like, what is a... It was Halucha, right? Halucha. Like, just in case he has that out. Um, we definitely would take the hits from the Ndidi, but, like, we should be fine. Um, Halucha, if he is... If he's Power Herb Sky Attack, he does 68 to 81 to us. That's nothing. Okay? Um, if the Excadrill... Like, we had our we had our rocks and our rock and tash. Our, um, our berry and ta tax, we were fine there. Like, the Morgum couldn't touch me. I was in such a good spot. I can't believe I threw that away. I was in a great spot. Oh, my God. He didn't even run clear smog on his wheezing, as far as I know. 
You probably had paint split. I can't believe that happened. I can't. I. I'm so upset. Oh my god. <sighs> Fuck. All right, that's it. Um, four loss. We fell to three and one with a plus nine differential. I'm I'm really upset about that that misclick, but it is what it is. We'll try and bounce back next week. Damn. Thanks for thanks for watching, everyone. Well, let's see if I can talk. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys would do in my situation um, there. Obviously, roost was the play. Did not roost. Happens. <sighs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all next week. Bye.